Good evening. <clears throat> Thanks for having me. Uh, change when you are presented with new information. I got to have new information. I think that's that's pretty sound advice. That was stated by the renewed Cal president and echoed by the certain members of the chamber. When you're presented new information, change. <coughs> when, so I guess I'm talking about the walkway. I'm also talking about debt management, which was not discussed in committee as a whole. Um, uh, your $320,000 cost, uh, if you go 20 to 30 years as suggested by Alderman Baker, is gonna double. It'll be $640,000. And I don't like passing that debt to my children and grandchildren. I think if, if this is that important, then we should pay for it. We shouldn't pass it off to our children and grandchildren. That's why we need to have a debt management policy, new information. For the first time in a long time, as long as anyone can remember, our property tax revenues fell short. That was because of <coughs> foreclosures and lower assessments. I'm a little bit concerned about the families that lived in those houses that were foreclosed on. I'm a little bit concerned about the neighbors whose property values were lowered when that house went into foreclosure. And, and this sure, absolute, steady, we can bank on it, property tax uh, uh, source of revenue fell short. New information change. Why did it fall short? Well, it might be the economy. May, maybe the economy changed. And maybe we should act with new information instead of ignoring the plight of the families who live in foreclosed homes, the neighbors whose property values were lowered because they live in a block with foreclosed homes. Maybe we should put debt management policies before <coughs> spending money that, t that commits us to going into debt. Maybe we should settle that, and then we can look at these, these uh, projects and decide whether that's something we really want to borrow money to do. Maybe we can figure out why we are, seem willing to report a 12.5% rainy day slush fund when we know it's probably around $300,000 from our discussions on the Budget Advisory Committee. Th w a million and a half, yeah, Tom, I think that's an optimistic number. That's the best we can hope for. Not three and a half million, and we know it. And yet we're gonna continue to go into debt without debt management policy. I hope we have certification that the walkway is ADA compliant. I hope we're not going by the word of some technical consultants who made a $60,000 elementary mistake in numbers. And I thank you for taking the time to look at that, Brenda. That's my job. That's right. And I thank you for doing your job. No problem. I think we need to adapt to changes. And I hope you listen. Thank you. Thank you, Max.